all movement comes from the spine. I start with the spine. Um, so we're going to actually do a chiropractic adjustment on her first. We're going to actually motion palpate each um, part of her spine. So starting with her pelvis, moving up every vertebrae. And um, we're going to fix any stuck joints that we find by putting a small thrust into it. And that's the chiropractic adjustment. The reason we do that is you can see that she's leaning to the, to the right here, unweighting that leg. And she's been doing this for several weeks even before surgery. Um, so all of that kind of tends to put a twist in the spine. And if your knee hurts and your back hurts, um, that's going to slow the healing process. So we want to get her as balanced as possible. And we're just going to remove any of those um, vertebral subluxations in there, just manually. And typically the dogs do enjoy this. It's kind of zoning out there. That little lick and chew, mm -hmm. and then the look back at me is often a, oh, that feels good, you hit the right spot, <laughs> kind of message. A little bit tight in her neck. I know that one. So, so what I'm going to do is essentially what you're going to end up doing for your range of motion exercises, and we'll just kind of take her through that. We're going to check every digit, so every toe, inflection, and then extension um, for about 10 to 15 seconds. So you're doing one toe at a time? Uh-huh, yep, or you can do the whole foot. Either way, it's a little easier to do the whole foot, but I like to check each toe. Uh, sometimes they'll pop the toes. Make sure her hock doesn't need to be adjusted. Um, once they've been in surgery, there's a lot of um, muscles that can kind of get pulled when they're doing the surgery, um, the way they have to kind of torque things around. So I just go over, there's a couple trigger points. There's one um, in the gastrocnemius muscle mm -hmm. um, that I typically release. Mm -hmm. There, that trigger point's starting to release, and that's, again, attached to one of the semitendinosus hamstring muscles that tends to pull on that. So we typically release that every time in these guys. And I like to do range of motion on the, the hock and the stifle, in other words, the ankle and the knee, at the same time, because they're linked. Um, if one extends, the other flexes in the dog, um, in any four-legged animal, actually. And you can't isolate movement of one rather than the other. And ultimately, we want to be able to get the hock angle um, kind of parallel here. Um, she can only go this far today and that's mm -hmm. largely because we've got pull on her cranial tibial muscles here and swelling in the joint. But our goal, like a normal sitting dog, if she were to sit square again, you need that foot flat on the floor. Um, so that's the angle we're going for, but she's not there and we have to have to deal with where we are today. But the joint motion is smooth. There's no clicks or clunks like we had before. Yeah. So, um, so certainly that meniscal problem is resolved and I'm just going to do a little manual release on that too. Um, the quadriceps muscle in the dog runs right up through here and the sartorius and those both get really tight and um, can be an area of referred stifle, referred knee pain up there. Um, so we need to address that as well. And we're just going to do, you can see the spasm in our yeah, tissue there. Yeah. Yep. So even though she's not reacting as being painful, that tells me that those muscles are kind of ticked off and we're going to try to relax them um, by doing some massage. And then when we find a trigger point, we'll just stop and hold. And again, we'll do some laser therapy over that area because you can imagine holding up the knee all the time. Um, you're going to be very tight up yeah. in here. So then we just need to correct that. This is a technique to help release the hamstrings and relax the pelvis. Kind of the tail base, yeah, what we're doing is we're putting pressure on the sacrotuberous ligament itself, and like a trigger point, um, those fibers will relax. I can see your it's twitching a little bit, yep. And then it'll just start to relax. Her eyes are starting to close and squint and uh, that's a great way to relax the pelvis and uh, the whole lower back and the hamstrings. Yeah, <laughs>
something? So this isn't quite as fun for her as the manual. Yeah, she kind of liked that a little better, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, she did. Well, now she's kind of chilling out. Yeah. Yeah, you're smiling mm -hmm. now, aren't you? It's a happy <laughs> face. Is. So our goal is just to paint the whole area and mm -hmm. kind of try to get an equal dose of the laser all around the knee. Mm -hmm. It's going to penetrate the tissue down several centimeters deep. So we should get um, both some good pain relief as well as decrease of some of the local swelling there. And in very swollen dogs, sometimes you can literally see it come down before your eyes. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. The other thing the laser does is it stimulates acupuncture points. Mm. And so I kind of have that in mind as I'm going over the area as well. Mm -hmm. um, there's a very important acupuncture point right here and over here. So we're going to try to include those. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of subtle, but right along her joint line here, the swelling has come down. This was completely puffed up yeah. before, and now there's a dent there. Sweet. Um, that's where her joint line is, and that's what you should see. So You want to see that little indentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there is a little protuberance like where the knee is? Uh-huh, like that? right there would be like our tibial tuberosity okay. there, mm -hmm. tibial crest. Okay, that's the end. Okay. Right